I came out of Hidden Th Figures thinking this is a story that everyone should know about. And I just wondered for you as a producer why you felt it was an important story to tell. Three African American women in the 1960s who were scientists, engineers, and mathematicians and technologically advanced. We need to know that story. Whose math went on to like help John Glenn rest in peace to complete his orbit three, uh, three times around the planet, five hours. Um, we need that story told. And you grew up as well near NASA's Langley base, I believe. How um, interested in space exploration were you as a youngster? Very. Um, I used to stare into space as a child and ask all the questions, you know, like, how far does that go? Okay, where does it end? What's on the other side if it ends? You know, I used to ask all those questions as a kid. And you're a composer on the film collaborating with Ben Wolfish and the man you call um, the king, or you've referred to him as the king anyway, Han yeah. Hans Zimmer. Yeah. Um, tell us about collaborating with them and how inspired you were by the 60s, by the period, if, if you were. Man, Ben is just like, he has just a tenderness to his work and what it is that he does. And Hans is like, he just finds the poetry in a, in a, in a script and is able to convey that score-wise. Uh, it was awesome to collaborate with them on it. I mean, they had a lot of fun. And I love the song <clears throat> Running in the film, which seems to be very much from Katherine Johnson's perspective. Yeah. Um, tell us about the inspiration behind writing that one. Well, Catherine's uh, character in the story just she had it. She had a lot of a lot of adversity, and um, you think about it that this, the the matrix of the 1960s, um, the physics were very uneven. They were much it was much heavier on black people in America, um, and it was twice as hard as uh, on black uh, women. And so, the thing is, is you know living in a world where the physics was so warped and being a mathematics savant, how do you carry on knowing that you got to use the bathroom and because the bathroom is segregated and not on the other side of the hall, on the other side of the building, it's on the other side of the campus. Um, and knowing because you're a woman, you can't even ride the campus bike because you can't wear shorts or, or pants. You have to wear a long dress or skirt. How do you how do you keep a smile on your face? How do you keep it going? And and how are the numbers not warped or distorted or obstructed? Like the math is so spot on that John Glenn didn't trust the machine and didn't want to carry on unless she checked the numbers. How do you continue on when, when you're dealing with so much, when you're living under such conditions? That's what running was about. And, and what do you hope that audiences in 2017, particularly young women who are considering their career options, might take from the movie? I hope that everyone that sees this film encourages their sisters, their daughters, their nieces, their grandmothers, their aunts, uh, their mothers to keep going and to know that science, technology, engineering, and mathematics are there for them too, you know? Keep going. Pharrell Williams, thanks very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!